this is my camera bag. And that's Antonio. Hey. He's a photographer and he's gonna be basically going through my video bag and I guess judging everything, making fun of it, but we'll see. So yeah, we'll see. Let's go. This, Where are we gonna start? Let's start with the bag maybe. It's yeah, yeah. I, okay, so I mean a tool bag. That's it's it's better than a camera bag, I guess. It should be tougher, but I'm supposed to be roasting it. So yeah. let's have a look. What do we got in this pocket in here? For, for anyone wondering, it is a uh, DeWalt Tough Systems 2.0 bag I got from Bunnings for 160 bucks. Justin Porter actually influenced me to buy it because he made a video about it a little while ago. A lot of people have been buying them. All right, so first thing is some kind of TV cable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it actually might be from a TV. Yeah, it looks like uh, something yeah. from like the 2000s that my grandfather would have in one of his TVs. Mm -hmm. But you know, that yeah. works. If you ever need to watch TV while you're doing yeah, a videography yeah. job. Totally. What else have we got? Oh, Just, you got a pen? Got a, yeah, wiper marker in case I need to write on a slate that I don't have, because I don't have a slate. I actually don't mind these pouches in here. The pouches in yeah. there, I'll open this up so this camera down here you can see it. These pouches aren't actually too bad. What bag did you say this was? DeWalt Tough Systems 2.0. I like it. It's a, right. yeah, it's a tool bag, like a tradie bag. What else have we got? Another strap, get your bottle of water, and... Yeah, it's got a bunch of pockets on the outside. Oh, what is that? Oh, magic arms. Some See, you need to get some of these. Robot building. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't be bad, but like they're such a, such a... You don't have to undo it that much. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like you do. I mean, they seem really sturdy. They could like help you hold your camera or something. Yeah. Holding camera can be a bit dodgy sometimes, but holding smaller stuff. Can you attach them together? Not like that, no. Oh, all right, well. Pretty sure actually that one, the, the Moser one that came with my gimbal, came with like an attachment that you screw on the end that you can like then attach to another one. I don't know. Did one of these come with your gimbal? That one came with my gimbal. That's cool. Yeah. And that one, this one's just a small rig one. What do you put on them normally? You, oh, well, I, in the past I've used it to mount monitors, either on my rig or just like separately, or mount, maybe mount it to the tripod and then have the monitor on that rather than on the camera itself. Or yeah, I've, in the past I've had it, had the monitor on the rig via a magic arm rather than a monitor mount. They don't take up too much space in your bag, I guess? No, I just leave them in there. Nice. All right, what else have we got? Uh, got a... Oh, more TV cables. Yeah. Why have we got so many TV cables? <laughs> what is this? That's a six meter XLR cable. Yeah, that's gonna like power the Be nuclear reactor or something. audio. But actually, this week I'm getting a shipment from Condor Blue. I'm getting a Condor Blue 10 foot uh, uh, XLR cable, so might be ten. replaced, 10 foot. That's too oh, long. 10 meters, 10 foot. That's six meters. But that's that's still too long. Like, I don't yeah. know what I'd do with that. Do you, what like, do you do with this? Boom mic. Uh, like, if, if, I, if we had a mic boomed above us here, plugged into the camera. Well, lucky I don't take photos of audio, so. Yeah. Oh, that's Oh, and then we got size. a nice little yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, again, this one's also getting replaced by a Condor Blue one. I like that one. But that one's this fine. one's just slightly too short, that it kind of points the mic in a different direction. But I also don't use the XLR handle on my FX30 that much, so it's not a big deal. I like that size, it's a good mm. size. This other long thing is too big. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's everything in that. Oh no, what's this? Oh, okay, I know what that oh, is. That's the... Uh, this is, I like this one though. That's from a DJI gimbal. Well, is it's it? from Small Rig, but it's, oh. it, they advertise it as for a DJI gimbal. Yeah, I've got, I've got one of those. But things. yeah, I really like it for my second camera because the bottom of the V-mount plate has a Arca Swiss like plate on it, but then I can just put it straight onto a Manfrotto tripod, either into a base plate or straight onto a tripod. And it's really handy to be able to switch because I don't want to have to deal, yeah. deal with that's going Arca good. Swiss and then Manfrotto and back and forth. So. That's probably my favorite thing in the whole bag yeah. so far. Yeah, that's fair. It's pretty useful. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be roasting it. These mm. are good. Yeah, you have those, to get they, one of these. Yes. Like, this is going to save your life. You go to a photo shoot, video shoot, changing lenses, you see some specks of dust on the rear element or on your sensor, just get it with that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, perfect pocket for it right there too. Yeah, it is actually a good pocket. And no, you haven't put anything in those outside pockets in there. Well, what am I gonna put in? They're like for like screwdrivers and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. I mean, I could put screwdrivers, I guess, but. And we got a big tripod. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, this, is, this isn't too bad. Eh. So what's this? This is a uh, Surui. Yep. Saray. It's a GT04 with a GT5 video head. I basically use this, I like I put it on the side of my bag here because I am not wanna, don't want to carry around my big small rig one, but I much prefer using the small rig one because it's a proper video tripod, whereas this one's not as good. You have to undo every single segment of the legs, it just, just takes too long. 
I'm waiting for Smorik to send me my uh, Tribex hydraulic one, the potato jet one from that competition that I won. But oh. they don't come out until like September, so I doubt I'm not going to get it till then. That's good. Cool. No, you won a competition yeah. for one. I don't like that strap on the outside. That's annoying me. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. That'll work. Okay. <laughs> Sure. All right, what's the next pocket? There's that pocket. Oh, there's this back pocket. The other side. Yeah, let's rotate. There's not much in there, really. We're going to rotate right. this around. Sure. All right, what have we got? This pocket here. Oh, more TV yeah. cables. <laughs> All right, this isn't actually a TV cable. Yeah, I thought it'd be helpful to have just a regular extension cable in there in case I need to plug a light in or something. Yeah, I can see that. Lights, lights do need stuff like that. That's actually reasonable. Yeah. Again, second favorite thing in the bag. Nice, we'll nice. Come in oh, here. you wait till you get to the gaff oh. tape. We got a gaff tape for the first time. I only bought this recently. I've just never okay. used gaff I, tape. For... I have actually had times where I wish I had something like this, <laughs> and I never thought of having something like this mm. in a camera bag. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Gaff tape. Or well, gaffer tape, but I don't know. I need to get some more different types of tape, but that's so far, that's all I have. All right, back around. Now to the actual fun stuff. Yeah, what's in here? Now the big pocket. Yeah, big pocket. Now this looks... This is the reason why I got this bag, because it can fit an entire rig and I don't have to take it apart. This looks really complicated. Yeah. All right, yeah. so straight up, I can see we've got some carbon fiber pipes on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got to get, got have those. What looks to be a, I'd say like some kind of, you know those little toy skateboards you got when you were a kid that you like played with on oh, your like, fingers? Like a tech deck? Yeah, like a, this kind of, for yeah. some reason this gives me like, it has something to do with tech decks. Mm -hmm. It's got a record button on it though. It does. That's I have not used that because I haven't Bluetoothed it to my cameras yet. I'm still looking at these carbon fiber pipes to attach the battery, what looks like on the back, V-mount battery. Is that a V-mount battery? That is a V-mount battery. Hey, it's yeah. cool. Oh, it's got the percentage on the back. Yeah, that's it's, cool. it's got a lot more, wait, is it plugged in? It's got a lot more info on the back. It tells you the power drawer and like what ports are taking power and stuff that's like actually, that. That's actually kind of cool. I yeah. like that. But. Like I said before about the Condor Blue stuff, I'm getting a, the Condor Blue V-mount Pro plate, which means I can plug everything into the plate rather than the battery. Mm -hmm. So I can just like hot swap the battery without having to unplug everything from it, which will be really nice. Yeah. I'm going to do a video about that, I think, maybe, probably. And um, FX32. FX30. Crop sensor, not bad. I, yeah. People always say crop sensors are not as good as full frame. I really like crop sensors. Most of my videos on my channel are filmed with a crop sensor. Really? It's actually pretty cool, yeah. Huh. Oh, not lately, but previously, a lot yeah. of them are filmed with the crop sensor. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See, I'd much rather have an FX3 or an FX6, but, yeah. you know, they're also way yeah. more expensive. And, yeah, people have budgets. Just get whatever you can afford and start with that. This is an inter This looks too complicated, though. Like, <laughs> look at that. It's got so much carbon fiber pipage, and it's got this big... You gotta loosen that, yeah. Rattly sounding, <laughs> like, plate of some sort. Oh. Yeah. Do those break something? No? no? Okay, good. You just need to tighten it, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That is called a matte box, if you didn't know. Yeah. So, um, that, from what I know, a matte box is really good if you're doing a job for someone and you just want to add a couple of extra zeros onto the price you're charging them. Exactly. Get a matte box. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Um, even stick it on a camera if you're doing photos. Matte box. I don't do it's, that. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea to do that. So right now I've got like a mostly tilter rig on there because tilter sent me some stuff recently. They sent me the uh, Nucleus Nano 2. And I have the tilter cage on there, but I think I might switch back to the small rig one. And I think I'm going to make a video talking about why. But there's just some things I prefer about the small rig one over the tilter one. The no. base plate's tilter, but the rods are small rig because the tilter rods that I have are too short. What is this lens? Look at all these teeth on the outside. Mm. Oh, that feels nice though. Mm. The way that's moving. Turn moves. this on. Hold the power button for a second. This thing. Hold the power button. Yeah, the, oh, record, the record button. button. I mean, no, the record button. Hold the record button. Yeah, give it a second. Ooh. Oh, and then if you turn that wheel, it turns that. Ooh, wheel. Yeah. that's pretty smooth. Hang on, I gotta get some footage of this. What's that thing called? So that's the Tilter Nucleus Nano Two Follow Focus System, and you can also just sort of take it off and then I can control the focus from over here. Oh, that's wireless? That's the whole point of I feel like it. I should so, have known that. So my job on the mini series that I was on mm. uh, was first AC, and one of, the first AC, one of the first AC's main responsibilities is focus pulling, so I mm -hmm. was the one doing the focus pulling a lot of the time. That's cool. Yeah. So they were like doing the video and you were just Yeah, so the DP the was, was holding the camera operating and I was um, focus pulling. We did switch sometimes, so I got to operate sometimes and he focus pulled, or we just, the person operating focus pulled sometimes, but yeah. That's a mist filter. Mist filters are cool. They yeah. make your photos look misty. 
And your videos, funnily enough. Yeah, and videos. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I found out what all those uh, big TV cables are for. So the mm. massive TV screen is attached yeah, to this camera. That's a seven inch. Yeah, I really prefer the seven inch monitor over the five inch. It's just better. And and better than yeah, these little screen on the back of the camera. Yeah. I mean that is flip screen though. Yeah. Does that flip out? Yeah. Is that enough room? It does, yeah. Oh, and yeah. that's why I have that big gap there between the battery and the camera. So the screen has room to flip out. Would you ever use the uh, flip screen when you have the monitor <laughs> attached for anything or yes, because if you turn the camera on actually, is the camera on? Uh, camera's not on. No. Switch is right here. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah. Oh, it's a cinema oh. camera. It's got a different switch. Oh, okay. Um, so if you look at the mo oh, the monitor's not on either. So on the monitor, I have a clean output, so it's just the image. Oh, that's a bright monitor too. Yeah, so this one is the Field World Light 7. I think they advertise it's 2200 nits, which is pretty bright. Um, but I have the clean image out on there and then I can see all the info and stuff on the camera screen. So I'm looking at like the log image with zebras and all the other stuff that's on the screen. So I don't have to see all that yeah. on the monitor. Does this monitor show the um, focus peaking or is that the camera doing that? Uh, that is the monitor. I'm just turn this ND down because it's really, it dark. Is really dark. That's the that's the monitor. So you can turn that off right there. That's cool. Turn that back on again. Oh, I like the dynamic range of this. Here, let's get some shots. Oh, wait, of... get rid of. Hold on. <laughs> Get rid of this uh, marker. I have to get one of Where these. Where is it? Marker? So that's for social media. Yeah, that's cool. Even though I shoot most stuff, if I'm shooting it for my social media, I'll shoot it vertically. But you know, has this got an, a memory card in it? Yeah. Can I hit record? Yeah. Check out some B-roll of our camera we're recording with today. That's my camera, which, uh, funnily enough, is rigged out with all of Remy's gear, yeah. so we can film this. Got the. Uh, well, it's only the Ninja there. Everything else is yours. Yeah. And my tripod. Yeah. This is a cool focus pulling system. I like yeah. That. Yeah, it's real nice. It's not LiDAR, so it's not like the DJI Focus Pro or anything. Can't do it by it, like it can't do it for you. But That's it's right. a lot better than trying to just barrel pull focus on uh, straight on the lens. That's cool. Oh, I have to like, this is difficult. I can't figure well, this yeah, out. This is complicated. We'll just, just leave it there. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. There we go, look at that. Yeah, he's just walking away now. Oh yeah, I gotta be yeah. back in frame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, I actually really like this. Yeah. It's good, but it can be, I mean, you're shooting at T19 right now, so it's kind of, can be hard to get very accurate focus. I like, well, with the but, focus peaking, that helps with that. Yeah. This is actually, I'm supposed to be roasting his stuff. Yeah. But it's just, I, it's just complimenting everything. He's meant to be roasting it, but yeah. Uh, oh, and there's also another handle in here. I have, there's a small rig rotating handle, so we can just need a rail slide that on there. And then you can go two handed on the, on the sides. Can I hold, can I, if I hold yeah, that, yeah, does the hold, whole yeah. thing fall? No, that's all good. That scares me. Yeah. So then you can go two-handed. I prefer doing that. This over feels the fast. Yeah. Oh, and when you've got the monitor up there as well. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, dude. It's so much better doing it like that. And then you do yeah, like you're doing. Press the battery up against your chest. And it's so it, much more stable. Yeah. No gimbal required. Exactly. Gim I don't like. I've said it before. I don't like using gimbals. Yeah. I've I never much prefer a, a handheld rig like this. This is cool. I'd much prefer a handheld rig with like a box camera because this is when you'd start when you cables. add more weight to this. This is probably when you'd start to get those little. A easy rig, yeah. I actually, funnily enough, I actually looked up how much easy rigs cost last night. <laughs> They're expensive. How for, much? For really okay. fancy if, ones. If you were to estimate how much everything here is in Australian dollar value, what would you say? Um, I think it'd be around seven, maybe eight k. I did. I did a video recently, and people asked how much it costs, and I was like, oh, it'd probably be about seven. But then, and now I have the. Nucleus Nano 2, which is like five, six hundred dollars. So, Jeez. Um, I mean, it's good. It looks yeah, so really I would, good I would estimate like seven to eight grand Australian, around like five grand US for the whole thing. Which, you know, for that, you could get an FX3 and a lens, or not most of an FX6. You can see if you want to buy this off me, I'll buy an FX6 and you can have this. <laughs> no, you, actually, I'd rather keep this than my A7 IV, though. So, no. You reckon this is better than the A7 IV? I, in a lot, I've, I've made videos about this. You don't watch my YouTube videos, do you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I watch his YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but I generally prefer this because it's built for video and I do most of the video. Whereas the A7 IV is much more of a hybrid. So it's just not built for the stuff that I want to do for it. It's good for video, but this is better in most things for video. Form factor as well is, is a big one. This like, is cool. And that's pretty much it in the... Yeah. In the bag, I think. There's a little zip pocket there with a couple cables in there. But that's about it. I'm going to give this back to you, Remy, because okay. I don't know how to turn this off and put it away. <laughs> okay. Fair, well, I mean, the same. You already did turn it off. 
I turned the camera off. Yeah. I remember that. All right, what are you going to rate the uh, entire thing? The Rate the rig or the bag as a whole with everything okay. in it? Rate right out of... Ten? I'm going to say bag on its own is a solid like 8 out of 10 because that's a, actually a pretty cool bag. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say minus one for like all of the carbon fiber pipes and TV cables. Okay. Everything There's two else, carbon fiber rods. Everything else I'm going to say is probably a good... Oh, that the focus pulling system is mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah. i got to say it's at least a 9 overall Yeah. with everything factored in. Yeah, fair enough. It's pretty solid. Also, this lens, no one has this lens yet. This is now. Like, you can't, oh. you can't have this lens yet. They're, You're sh the they're only shipping. With that lens. No, like, Damn. other people have it, but they're, they're shipping. Like, like, if you commercial. buy it, if, they, if you buy it, you don't get it till next month. So, Nisi sent me this, and it's pretty cool. Nisi, send me the rest of them, please. Thanks. Um, I, usually, if I need autofocus, I'll, you know, scrap the nucleus and use a 24 to 70 or something like yeah. that autofocus lens. But other than that, yeah, I really like the cinema lens. But yeah, cool. that's about it. Very nice. It's getting really dark. It is. Hopefully our exposure's not all messed up. Oh, that looks nice though. Yeah. If that looks really cool on the video. <laughs> so that'll be it for this one. This is my FX30 rig. It's very similar to the rig in my FX30 video, like the rig build that I did a little while ago. So go check that out if you're interested. I'll leave Antonio's channel somewhere over here as well and do all the other things. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. And then you got to slap the lens. Oh, you got to slap the lens.